Today we're going to be taking a look at and also showing you how to install the e-trailer trailer hub and drum assembly. These are designed for use on 3,500 pound easy lube axles. They have a 10 inch diameter and a bolt pattern of 5 on 5 inches. Part number is AKHD-550-35-EZ-K. Now with the kit, we're going to get our hub, which is nice. We're going to have brand new races inside of here. Got a brand new area here where our magnet's going to ride, so we're going to have superior contact and a completely new braking surface. So we know when our brakes engage, they're going to do the job they're intended to do. Also, we've got our inner bearing. We've got our outer bearing. We've got our seal. And then it's even going to come with new lug nuts, our new easy lube cap, and the dust cover that's going to fit in there and keep all the dirt, moisture, and grime out of our bearings. Now, if you're beginning your installation from scratch, we want to take our old tire off, of course, we, and we want to get our old hub off. There are a couple different methods of how they keep the hubs on or keep our bearings in place. This one has what they call a capture nut, so this nut just slides over the end of our actual nut, and that's going to be a keeper there. Um, some of them will have cotter pins that slide through. Regardless, we'll want to either take off our cotter pin or we can just pop this off the end there. You see this little tab lines up with the flat spot on the axle. We then want to remove the nut. And then we also want to take off our washer. Now these things, we want to save all of these. A lot of times with the cotter pin, you will break it. So it's not a bad idea to have one of those on hand. Now what I like to do is get all the old grease off of the spindle here. That way we're starting fresh. Now with our bearings, we want to pack these with new grease. There's a couple different things out there. We even have a bearing packer available on our website. I just do it by hand. We're going to use red grease for non-marine applications or a trailer that won't be backed into the water. And you want to use a marine quality grease if you do or if you are doing is using it on a boat trailer or something of that nature. And then it's just a matter of pushing the grease in to the gap that exists between the inner race here and the outer keeper. You can see this little gap right here where you see that red grease. We want to force that through. So eventually it comes out of the top side. Now with that packed full, we can drop this right in to the top of our new hub or what would be the back side of our new hub. And since your hands are already covered with grease, it's probably a good idea to do that outer bearing now as well. Now it's time for us to take our seal. We're going to place it right here on the back of our hub. And we're going to be using part number PTW83020. This is a universal seal and race tool. You could also use kind of a 4x4 block of wood or some kind of piece of wood on the back side of it to kind of get in. You just want to be careful. We'll just drive it in until it's fully seated, just like that. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of our grease and I'm just going to put it inside of our hub here. You don't have to do this. You could do it through the easy lube, but this will save you a little bit of time pumping on a grease gun. And we're ready to slide it right on our spindle. A little wiggle to get that seal to set properly. Now our outer bearing can be slid on. like that. We'll put on our retaining washer. We'll take our nut and we want to thread that on. Now at this point I like to put my tire back on, use the lug nuts to get it secured. That way we can set the tension or set the seat our bearings properly and make sure we've got them tightened down appropriately. Now the way we'll set our bearing pressure here, or seat our bearings properly, we want to spin our tire and then we want to keep tightening down our nut. 
and then at a point you're going to feel it get a little tension on it. You feel a little bit of drag there. We're going to loosen up just ever so slightly and then we'll slide our keeper back on here. We can grab our dust cap here. And then again, using either a little block of wood or in this case, just using a dead blow hammer. Get that seated in position all the way around. Now we'll use our grease gun. We're gonna add in grease and we'll see it come up right inside of that cap. That way we'll know it's full in there. You see we've got a little pocket of grease that goes all the way around there. That means that the entire inside of our hub is full and it was forcing its way out. Now it's just time to cap it off. Now anytime we need to service our bearings, we just pull that cap off and that grease circ is going to be right there. Now all we have to do is grab our torque wrench. We'll torque down each of our lug nuts to make sure that they're set properly. And once we've got everything torqued down, we'll be ready to start using our trailer again. Now with our tire torque down, that's going to complete our installation of the E-Trailer Trailer Hub and Drum Assembly. Part number AKHD-550-35-EZ-K.